once again i welcome all to my youtube channel in this video i am going to explain about the routing so before proceeding further i request if you have not followed me on the instagram and facebook so here is the link technical knowledge group so please go there and follow and also i have written down some interview question which is on angular 11 so i'll share the link in the description box so let's go to the next slide we'll understand in detail about routing so routing help us to navigate from one view to other that means if you're navigating from one page to other then routing help with the help of routing we can able to move and second we can also pass some value when we are traveling from one view to other in query string suppose if the client is on the home page and he's traveling from home page to the customer through one button or or uh, a menu but from home page to customer if we are sending some value we can send in the query string so this can also be achieved using route now routing file can be added while creating the application or later we can add the routing file when we are creating the new application or later on that is not the problem and router hyphen outlet is a very important is act as a placeholder where different component loads at runtime meaning when you travel from one view to other it's act as a placeholder when different different component loads so let's go to the visual studio code and we'll understand in detail now this is the default architecture of an angular See, with the default component, there is one file approuting.module.ts. So this, this file is responsible for creating all the routes for this module. So here is only one component called app component. So we need to create one more component or I will create two component so that it will be act as two different pages. So we'll create ng, g for generate, C for component, I'll say customer, enter. So it creates the customer component. So let's create one more. NG, G, C for generate. And uh, let's say about. Press enter. So see, it creates the about component and customer component. So each component is act as a web page if we see on the browser so it is like we have two pages one is about us about and the other is customer so i'll be creating route or two menu on the app component if we click on customer it it will open the customer page if we click on the about it it will open the about page so let's go to the app.component.ts file uh, dot uh, routing will open the routing file see in order to add the routing we should import the route from angular route this is very important so inside this array we will we will add a route or we will add a menu how many menu we would like to add so here we have to about and customer so we'll we'll add an object of a route so syntax will be like first whatever the pages you you have like about and customer will import all the pages from here like import then from uh, what are the uh, component there is one called customer slash customer component right and the name of a customer component will type it should be in session uh, sorry yeah customer component and now we'll import the about component we'll say import from about slash about and the name of a component about component right so inside this array we will inject object of a route say path so customer for customer i would say customer you can name anything 
but it should be specific and which component I know for the customer it should be a customer component uh, customer component right comma sorry comma and then other object with the same path and the name the name of a route I'll say about comma component and for the about we know that it should be about component so in this way we can add a route so this is called a route okay and on the app component we know that the default component is app component and it will be the first which is shown on the browser so we will be adding two menu on the HTML so I have opened app.component.html so here I'll say you will and inside this anchor and there is one way to to add a HRF in angular we say router link and inside this what was the name of a route customer slash customer and we'll close it we'll say customer the name which will be reflect on the browser so we'll add br tag to change the line and next router link which is for about us so we know it is uh, slash with the router name about a capital okay I should follow the same convention uh, about and let's close it and the name of a menu will be about see in the previous uh, um, if we are talking about in some some other language we add the HRF so here HRF router link will act as an HRF for this anchor tag and throughout your application whenever we would like to open the customer component we will always writing slash customer because customer in the routing file customer is mapped with this customer component perfect and so let's run the application and we'll see what is the result ng serve so application compiled successfully let's go to the browser and type localhost 4200 see the two menu has reflected customer and about see customer and about yeah so let's click on the customer it should show the text uh, customer work what is the text yes it customer work so if click on the customer so customer work right if you click on the about it about work so here if we if we see this URL by default this URL was loaded without any substring but if you click on the customer it added a string customer how because here in the anchor tag we have mentioned slash customer so slash this customer is added and in the routing file it mapped router with the router component so whatever the text on the uh, customer component was there so it visible here same with about if you click so this part of a URL change it th not the whole uh, URL has been changed only the part of URL is changed which make the angular single page application only this particular content is changed not the whole whole component only this part this part is changed right so this make the angular as single page application now one more very important concept we have seen the out router hyphen outlet so what is the purpose of adding this so let's remove it and we'll see what happened on the browser is bundling up and compile successfully see I've opened the console there is no error so let's let's see if you click on the customer if you click on the about there is no error the part of your is changed but the component is not loaded whatever the text whatever the uh, HTML was attached with this particular route is not loaded because the placeholder was removed so it act as a placeholder so whatever the whatever the module will be whatever the component will be loaded it will load here 
right now see I reverted back and saved it's working fine now right so in this way we can add a basic routing system and it work as it is but there are more concept in routing like here we have only one module so we can create more module and we can we have a more uh, routing file then how the different routing file in different module work we will see in definitely in next video and we'll also see how you can pass the data in a query string when you move from one page to other page so we'll definitely see all this concept in next video thank you for watching this video if you have any question please mention the question in the comment section i will be very happy to answer if you are new to this channel please subscribe this channel and share the link with your friends thank you so much